Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing a get ready with me with some new products that I recently hauled. And yes, so I hope you enjoy this look. Look at that glow though, yes. <laughs> so if you'd like to know how I got this flawless looking skin and smoky eye, then continue to watch. Okay, so I already did my brows and hello brows I used um, my Anastasia brow pencil in taupe which I'm so sad this is like broken but whatever and then the dip brow pomade in blonde so I thought I would just do my eyebrows first which I usually do after foundation but heck so today I'm going to be trying out the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. I'm excited to try this because I just am. It's so weird because uh, my friend on Facebook, Christy, hello Christy, um, she's like, people have said that this has an odor to it. Mine has no smell whatsoever. Here's the color, 117. I'm going to be using a beauty blender um, you can use with a foundation brush as well I've seen it done both ways it looks great so let's just get started oh my gosh hello this glides on like oh yeah crazy perfection um I put on what am I saying <laughs> Oh my gosh, I put on Becca's uh, Backlight Filter uh, Primer. Oh my gosh, this feels so good. Oh my god, it's like a perfect color match too. Living for it. Oh my gosh, I want another color so far. It's so creamy. Let's see what this is like. So I'm just going to take my damp booty blender oh my gosh it looks like skin hello wow blends like a dream They say that this is good for uh, filming, TV, but shoot, even in real life, this looks very, very nice. I'm surrounded in bright light, so I hope I'm not coming off too ghostly on camera. Wow. So this is definitely just with one coat and probably because I used the beauty blender I sheared it out a little bit. So I'm going to just try a little bit more. I feel like this is very moisturizing. Very moisturizing. So this is giving off a dewy, I would say like a glow, like a lit within 
glow look definitely oh my gosh you guys beautiful on the skin very very buildable I'm in the color 117. Wow. Nice. So I'm going to be putting on my concealer, which is the Urban Decay Naked Weightless Concealer in Fair Neutral. I love this concealer. It is bomb.com. Like, it's so nice. Definitely my favorite. This and MAC Pro Longwear. This feels really moisturizing. So if you have dry skin, these two products definitely. Wow. So I'm just applying underneath the eyes up here. Want everything to have balance. And then I like to apply right there and right there as well. And a little trick that I love is I use the um the makeup priming spray and while this is on, I'm just gonna missed my face with it. This is going to kind of make everything kind of just stick a little bit better while it's on. I'm just going to wait a second. Okay. Oh, blends like a dream. From what I've read about the foundation it doesn't say long wearing or anything like this but this would be like probably really good for if you're gonna get your pictures taken I know that uh, graduation is coming up this is very very nice And I love the color range. They have a very nice color range. This foundation is very, very luminous. It is bringing light, like a glow from within. So now I'm going to be using the Bare Minerals Invisible Light. This is my first time using it, so I'm excited. I do not have the brush with it. One brush is synthetic, the other is not. So um, for the matte side, use a non-synthetic brush but I don't know if that really matters but I'm going to be setting the under eyes with the matte side which is this white one and with this product it can go on any skin tone anything because it is absolutely 100% translucent So I'm just going to set my under eye with it and right away it does get, does mat, mattify. I would say this is for if you want really um, minimal makeup this would be really good so it just goes on completely translucent you can't tell that there's anything there but it does it did go matte so I'm just going to put this powder like where I don't really care for a shine, so 
just kind of in the t-zone and that works really nicely just do around the nose So I'm going to go into the glow side, which has rose gold swirls in it. Very nice. And I'm just going to take a synthetic brush and just see what kind of highlight I get from it. I get a glow. I do. It's very subtle. So if you're looking for something that's subtle and not so bam in your face, I would say that this is it. Like with this product, I can use this on days where I just want to put on like maybe a BB cream and just not have to go through the whole baking process and stuff like that. So so far, I like the look at my skin so score so today I am not really feeling like I want to do like a strong contour or anything so I'm just going to go in with this physician's formula butter bronzer <sighs> that smells like pina colada I'm just going to bronze up my face Oh, this smells like a dream, you guys. So how has everyone been doing? It has been a hot minute since I have talked to you guys. Hope you all are doing well. Oh, this bronzer is so nice. I haven't been up too much, just... watching YouTube <laughs> stuff like that oh I love this if you are fair this is a really good wrong even if you had a medium skin tone I feel like this would work I'll be getting a uh, self tanner here soon I'm gonna be trying out a uh, Jergens self tanner I really feel like this bronzer goes really nice with the bare minerals like hello look at that <laughs> nice so just kind of putting this where I would contour and kind of blush things it's just like nice I love it so pretty I love how this 187 brush applies it. Oh, I just feel so glowy and lit from within. I absolutely am in love. Now going to be going in with blush. I feel like I want to use Dallas. I'm almost done with it and I will be repurchasing this. This is my favorite blush. It just goes with anything. I don't even have to think about it. And it kind of has that bronziness. So I'm just going to be starting kind of in the middle of my pupil upwards, not starting at the cheek. So just like it kind of up here. And my mirror is right here, my viewfinder. So I'm not looking. Oh my gosh. I feel like. I'm airbrushed. That is how I feel. I 
feel really airbrushed. Especially used with this, I was able to, you know, mattify what I wanted and I have a really nice natural glow going on which I really am digging. So I'm going to be starting out with a saddle in the crease right here and I'm just taking a blending brush, a fluffy one. This is just going to be my transition colors. This is just going to be kind of like my blender shade. I don't know, I just felt like something smoky today. So that's what I'm going to do. So after that, I'm going to go within Dance in the Dark, which is like a grayish brown dark purple. It's kind of hard to explain, but it's really pretty. It is a little bit patchy and does take some work. I'm going to be taking a pencil brush from MAC. 219 brush, or is it, yeah, is it 219? <laughs> taking this brush right here, and I'm just going to kind of um, map out the cat effect. I'm not doing cat liner today. So I'm just going like that, taking the brush kind of at an angle and taking it in a little bit at a time. So I'm just going to keep blending. I find with dark colors you just kind of have to work slow with them and be patient. So we have something going on like this. I'm going to take a 242 brush and I'm going to dip it in to butter fudge and honey lust and put that on the lid. I'm just putting this on the mobile part of the lid all over. And I'm going to go into Honey Lust, which is really, really pretty, and put that like right on top of it. In with vanilla extract and use that as an inner corner highlight. Putting that right in there. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking my pencil brush and I'm just going to be putting Dance in the Dark and Saddle, mixing the two and be putting this underneath the lash line and smoking it out. It's totally optional. I'm going dramatic today. I haven't 
done full glam in so long, so it feels, it's fun. And at the end of the day, it's just makeup, and you can take it off if you don't like it. So, but I'm having so much fun playing with this palette from MAC. I, I love it. So I'm just going to keep blending that. Then I'm going to be applying the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash to the lower. Then I'm going to go in with MAC Teddy, which is a really nice bronzy brown um, eye coal pencil. I'm going to go back in with Dance in the Dark on a little fluffy brush. I'm just going to darken the outer corner a little bit. I hope I'm in focus. <laughs> For eyeliner, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. gel liner, so I'm just going to be starting in the middle. Sorry about the dogs. Making it kind of thick but thinner as we go in. To apply my eyelash. I tell you what, I do not like duo adhesive glue. Kind that comes in the tube, but I can't find my other other one. Like the one with the wand on it. Okay, for lips, I'm going to be using the Milani lip pencil in 03. Does I have a name? I don't know. 03, I'm going to be lining my lips with this. Such a pretty nude. Just filling them in and then I'm gonna go in with this Marc Jacobs lipstick. It's gorgeous. It is called Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. So pretty. Just gonna put some in the corners.
and this is the completed look so look at that highlight though like it's pretty it's lit within the foundation does transfer I I was going like this for just a second it did go on to my hand so that's something you want to keep in mind I'm definitely going to be using this for um, filming and pictures I really like it um, what's going to help is the makeup primer spray and this is the oil control one I really like this so I'm just going to finish off my face with this but look at that bare minerals it's gorge So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. I love you guys so much. And leave me your comments down below. I love you guys. And until next time, stay safe, be kind, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.